change. Time has gone by. <laughs> we have the clock. <laughs> and I have completed my gun. You sure have. Holy <laughs> smokes, look at that. That wow. is gorgeous. There was a lot of detail to that. Yeah. I, was, I was surprised. Yeah. yeah. See, you hold it up to the uh, the light here. You would. Go ahead and show. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Big Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm maybe hold that up to the oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Focus. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, our intern listened. <laughs> there we go. So. That's pretty sweet. And uh, all the different details of the yeah. legs. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of little moving parts that mm -hmm. all kind of wiggle and can be positioned. The ankle can move wow. all sorts of different ways. Look at that. You know, the knees, the hips, mm -hmm. the, the waist at two different points, the shoulders, the arms, the, e the even the hands. Yeah. The hands, you, you have different hands that you can put in for mm. if you're doing a pistol grip or if you're just doing a hand mm -hmm. that's uh, holding something. Nice. And the shield can go on the back mm. or can be held on, on the arm. Mm-hmm. And he's ready for posing for action shots. That's nice. <laughs> or for the diorama or wow. stop motion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are really good at stop motion, actually. Yeah, exactly. That's very cool. Man, the the transparent stuff really catches the light nicely. Oh, it does. And I was thinking, you know, if I could put in LEDs yeah. to have it just sort of... Mm -hmm. That would be You could totally better. do that. Now, one thing I did notice mm. was uh, after I got done... I noticed mine was more of a blue tint, mm -hmm. and the model showed more of a gray tint. Oh, yeah. And so that's when I started to look at the back of it and say, oh, ah. there's a color code of all these different yeah. paints that can be used mm -hmm. to match it up even more. Nice. So depending upon a person's skill and ability, yeah. you could spray it, you could even go in and do even more detail. Mm. And the decals that this one had were, were quite small, some of mm. them. Uh, getting into the point where I had to use a X-Acto knife just to get wow, something sure. smaller as small as like grit under your fingernail type yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into into the positions for yeah. where those are like in the eyes and one of the cool things about these kits is because they are snap assemble if you ever wanted to go back in and you know repaint or tweak you can just pop off a leg oh yeah you know and, and just pop off that piece and and detail it I, in fact I got pretty far and then I said oh wait I forgot a step or I put mm. in something backwards just disassemble, yeah. put it back together, <laughs> right? And there I was. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and it, it is a good thing to mention, actually, is the fact that the uh, the obviously the, the art on the box is art. <laughs> you know, that's not what it's going to actually look like per se. And then you mean these the, explosions uh, won't be? No, on? darn. You know, it's <laughs> the not rays actually fire rays. Yeah. Although, uh, yeah, you could, yeah. yeah. Um, and then when you actually open it up, um, this is a painted, detailed. Yeah. Model. So, so somebody spent time to repaint all they of those. They really panels did a fine job too. Clean it up. So yeah. So each each time I, I do a model, I always learn and I think, okay, next time I'm going to do it even more refined. Yeah. So I, I I'm I'm looking at some of the spots that I used sandpaper, and I'm thinking, mm. okay, maybe next time an even finer grit. Uh, yeah. And uh, maybe maybe I'll do a little bit of painting. <laughs> try out those LEDs. <laughs> yeah, totally. It'll be a lot of fun. And and there are actually. Um, um, Gundam model kits that come with LEDs. Um, mm. so there are a few that, that oh, wow. are, can be lit up from the inside, which is pretty cool. So now I have to watch more of the series so I know which exactly. ones to get. Well, yeah, now I can do a ship. Yeah, ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I finished my little flat. So um, uh, this is a high grade kit, so a little simpler, much simpler actually. So there's your there's your flat, um, and uh, this is from Turn A Gundam, so it's one of the Sid Mead designs. As we were talking about, it's a little different. Actually, I think I'm just gonna. See, me quite a talented guy there. It's it's um, amazing how, how. There we yep. go. So, yeah, b b uh, very simple. So you got the articulated joints, the the knees and the feet. Um, but actually, whoops, how could I pop that right out? Um, the feet are, are are interesting. That's a different style than than. Uh, yeah, it's almost sort of a high heeled style. For it, the, uh, it can the fold flat. It looks like. It, well, it can, and well, it's called a flat. So imagine that. Um, and then, well, it has a flight mode, which is a little different. So it sort of pops up like that, and then flips or, or switches over like this. Oh wow! So that is the the flight mode. You can also pop off those 
uh, little heels there. And so it normally flies kind of, actually those, yeah, those fold down. So it, nice. it fl- <laughs> <laughs> Like kids, we all do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you pop off arms, too. You also have fun battle damage, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a, um, really, really nice kits. I'm, I'm very happy. Um, so I'm really glad we did this, because it, it, it uh, gave us a chance to uh, sort of rekindle both of our model making uh, experience. And, uh, you know. I'm excited about it. More. I want to yeah. do some more. There we go. <laughs> um, what did you think about uh, Mobile Suit Gundam? What are your last thoughts? That was a great series. Yeah. I, I want to see more of the franchise. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of cautious because I, I know that some people are big fans of, of one <laughs> over another. Yeah. But I, I like going chronologically because mm-hmm. I can see anime as anime develops. Yeah. And then be able to critique in the historical context mm-hmm. of, yeah, that was good, but then the next one was great in this aspect, <laughs> but it didn't have what the other one had in mm-hmm. this other aspect, even though it had the technology for this. So yeah. I'm sure I've got to see some more. <laughs> sure, sure. What did you think of, of Gundam um, relative to sort of other anime of the time that you've seen? Oh, Impressive. Or other wow. Mm. And a more serious... Uh, uh, barely any um, uh, any any kind of goofiness. It, it seemed mm-hmm. more like a sci-fi series, mm-hmm. intentionally designed for sci-fi, yeah. and less of uh, it was it, it, less of like a kid show type of feel mm-hmm. to it. And I think that for for me was a very strong appeal. Yeah, I yeah, totally agree. The realism of the scenario and people's responses. Yeah, and, exactly. And and the fact that the science is a little more realistic if you will yeah uh, <laughs> if you run out of salt as any distance runner or endurance mm. athletes know you start to cramp up you can't yeah. function properly <laughs> the crew needs salt <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know captain bright is a very young guy but he may not realize mm. they need their salt <laughs> that was a great uh, episode for for kind of revealing the fact that you're going to have all of these Aspects of being on a ship that are the mundane, normal, everyday things. Fresh water, yeah, the paper, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> totally. Um, um, it's, it's great seeing an anime series that really thinks about that. that and stuff. and when you have a beloved character die, oh. Oh. wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, several, <laughs> so, yes, absolutely. Although not as many as I thought would. Hmm. By the end of the series, I thought we'd see a, uh, um, you know, we'd see them sort of all go down with the ship or something along those lines. Um, but it, yeah. it wasn't quite as bloody no, as no. some anime I've seen, shall we say. But, but it wasn't all uh, uh, babies and puppies, no. roses and peaches. <laughs> it, it, there, there was some, okay, we, mm. we, we've lost some people. Yeah. And, well, and they also do a good job, like, partway through, where there's the um, the assault on White Base, where Rumble Rawl is coming in. Mm. And you really see all those sort of random people who are fighting in the hallways, and it's just, yeah. it's, it's they're, really they're, tough. Yeah. yeah. Those guys... <laughs> Their ship exploded. They're not coming home. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end <laughs> for them. <laughs> yeah, no parachutes out of jets in this one. Yeah. No, certainly not. Yeah, the guys who got shot straight through the middle. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're... Yeah, yeah exactly. And, uh, uh, see how many uh, new types arise uh, from this yes. uh, for the next episode. I'm glad you brought that up because uh, the new type concept is something that has been somewhat controversial in the sense of the idea of what, you know, it's kind of a fantasy element hmm. added into a science fiction show. How did you react to the new type idea? I kind of had a sensation there was something different, and they'd yeah. been hinting a little bit as we went along. Mm-hmm. Amaro's different. No, he isn't. He's a kid <laughs> just like the rest of us. He's not that yeah. different. If he just had the chance. No, he's actually different. <laughs> <laughs> he is different. And I suspect there's some other folks on the, on the, mm. on, uh, uh, on the crew who may have... Um, uh, some differences. Mm-hmm. They may not be the full-blown differences that Amuro has, mm-hmm. but um, there there seemed to be a little bit of clairvoyance uh, on the part of um, oh suddenly now her you know the yeah, um, um, uh, uh, Sela or Mirai. Se- uh, 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 Mirai. Mirai. Yeah. Mirai had, had she oh, yeah. kind of could look at people and kind mm-hmm. of tell what was going mm-hmm. going on in a way that other folks couldn't. Yeah. So I suspected she had a little bit of power mm-hmm. uh, to perceive, mm. uh, but not like a full-blown, okay, clairvoyance yeah. <laughs> and, you know, omniscience or anything, mm. but she she had insight that other folks just didn't, mm. and it seemed more than the ordinary mm-hmm. uh, at some stages, so I was kind of thinking, okay, yeah, there's some, there's some 
some some potential for that kind of thing to occur. Yeah. But uh, did it seem strange? Did it seem like it, it didn't fit in with the show? It it, it seemed unusual, but mm -hmm. in the future, that many generations away, mm. separated from our normal Earth environment mm -hmm. and conditions where. Uh, our sun's harmful rays are filtered mm -hmm. out by our atmosphere and mm -hmm. people are exploring areas where yeah. who knows what cosmic rays they're getting mm -hmm. or what uh, uh, kind of things they're encountering from other uh, other environments. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of makes sense <laughs> that there'd be some sort of a change in, uh, gradual change in development mm -hmm. and I'm sure technology will mm. have some course into that. It, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it's it's kind of funny to think how that that kind of thing occurs now, as mm. our our ability for robotics is increasing, yeah. our uh, time intensity mm. seems to be accelerating. We yeah. try and maximize and do eight different things rather than <laughs> one. Oh, excuse to me. To accomplish more. Yeah, no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me get that uh, phone real quick. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, it's mm. it, it seemed to be um, a, a, a potential direction mm. that human course could take because yeah. as we explore brain science mm -hmm. uh, the potential for uh, different memory mm -hmm. uh, different uh, ability to uh, control things mm -hmm. uh, and of course electronics yeah and Moore's law mm -hmm. all of that's kind of combining uh, but I didn't see uh, the elements of uh, cybernetic cyber mm -hmm. like human android direction mm -hmm. that uh, I kind of expected, but maybe the development hasn't gotten to that Stay point tuned. yet. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> as wars continue, yep. uh, and we're seeing this now, the need for prosthetics mm. or exoskeletons that are not based on the person's mm. current yeah. nervous system and mm. structure um, are becoming more uh, relevant. Mm -hmm. So I, I can see the human uh, race moving in that direction. Mm. Uh, for better or for worse, yeah. <laughs> hopefully because of worse, but becoming better. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we we've seen exoskeletons designed for people who have been injured through mm -hmm. um, uh, spinal injuries. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, a lot of uh, uh, people who are involved in wars mm -hmm. or um, landmines mm -hmm. have needed these things. Mm -hmm. But the technology is still so early that it's mm -hmm. not the kind of thing that is prevalent. Right and uh, the idea that uh, that that something like uh, a show like Full Metal Alchemist, where there's mm -hmm. a, uh, mm -hmm. a, a prosthetic, yeah, I think inspires folks to move in that direction and say, okay, our electronics, our mechanics are to the point where we can start doing this. What is the area of our technology that isn't there, yeah. and how can that be? Mm -hmm. And so you, then you get somebody who's <laughs> interested in it. How can it be? How can it mm -hmm. be? We can make this. Exactly. Inspired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and we're seeing that now with you know, 3D printed hands and Whoa. stuff like that, where it's... Virtual it's reality, the idea of rolling out yeah. a map in the middle of the air, <laughs> <laughs> looking at it and lining yeah. up. <laughs> well, and it, it's it's great that we, you brought up the, the 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 whole concept of new types because I think seeing what we've done here with with the model kit is a great example of how you, know, you see Gundam and it kind of opens your mind mm. and opens you up into the opportunity of doing things like plastic model kits, mm. and you learn the skills for that, and so you know you kind of grow as a person. They're expanding, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you also can think about the show. One of the great things about Gundam is it's a show where you know, if you watch it, you can enjoy it. If a friend watches it, you can talk about it. Ah, you know, it's, yes. one, it's one of those shows where you can absolutely sit down and talk about, what did you think of Char? What did you think of Amuro? Was Amuro too whiny? Um, you know, this plot twist, La La. Dodging all the moments. shot. There yeah. we go. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's definitely a show that, uh, that rewards um, focus. There, 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 was, there was definitely some, some, some feelings uh, that uh, there may be some twin... Uh, communication between oh. uh, the Red Comet mm. and Selah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and that's where I thought mm. initially it would go. Mm. Um, but they didn't 
they didn't they didn't delve into that as much yeah. as I thought they would, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping they're saving that for a future episode <laughs> or series. Or I do wonder, you know, knowing that they had a truncated season and mm -hmm. they had to, to end early, I do wonder how much they had planned to go into that in those last few episodes. Yeah, he Who knows. It, there were a lot of twists in the in the in the last mm -hmm. few episodes, so I think maybe they had to accelerate. Yeah, <laughs> some where they were going with that, mm -hmm. because. Um, Char really kind of pulled a lot of backstory in at the mm -hmm. last, the last uh, uh, a number of episodes. Yeah. Hey, yeah, we know he's been living on, you know, in that environment, mm. but he's been living with a vendetta that he's planning on carrying out. Yeah. And it's known. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> and the people who know about it are keeping him in control. Mm. And it seems seems to reinforce the common saying of uh, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, which, for those of you who've seen um, Gundam The Origin, you, you'll know that goes into some of that into some of that background. And you'll see that is very, very clearly the, the idea there is where they're, <laughs> they seem to be going there where it's, okay, let's just keep an eye on him. Just make sure we know they're <laughs> what he's doing. And, and uh, Mirai's Mm. Love life. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Uh, she's she's had a a few heartbreaks now. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see that develop. Mm -hmm. And 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 who can forget Frau Bo? Ah. She's gotta she's gotta have <laughs> something with Amaro. I mean. Spoilers. Come on, Amaro. <laughs> Look at that. She's beautiful. Yeah. She's young. She's mm -hmm. taking care of the kids. She she may not be a pilot, but she's. She's wonderful. Come on, Amaro. She, I know. <laughs> Amaro! <laughs> well, you, you, we have plenty of time to see where all that goes. So that's cool. Well, cool. Yeah, I think this has been a, a lot of fun. And so uh, I think from now, uh, model kits or not, we'll, we'll move on to some other Gundam. Yes. Yeah. More Gundam. Cool. More yes. Gundam. Sweet. All right. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. See you next time. See you.